you mentioned there about the two games that have taken place between Hearts and Dundee this season. They've been very, very different games. Is, it, is there an easy explanation why they've been so different between the two? Yeah, we were much better in the game than we were in the first. Uh, simple as that. We we did not turn up at Tyne Castle. Uh, you can put it down to preparation, you can put it down to whatever you want, but I didn't use the excuse. We had played one game, and uh, I think Hearts had played three Betfred games. Now, they had chopped and changed their team, so there was no way I was coming out after that defeat and saying it was because we had lack of preparation. We just didn't show up. Simple as that. We made sure that didn't happen out there and the result was different. So we need to make sure we turn up on on Saturday and, and turn up and, and be the Dundee team we know we can be and, and, and turn up with the belief that and there is a belief there. We've got players in that, that, that are desperate to go there and win. Jason Cummins is one that we've spoke about. He's, he's been there and won a lot. And he wants to go there and win again and, and that's what we want to do. We want to go and get three points. And, but it's going to be tough. We know that. We need to be our best, but... There's a simple, simple explanation. We didn't turn up at that game in October, but, but you've seen a different Dundee team when we played them out there on the 2nd of January. Again, obviously, the important factor is it's, it's three points that's available, but it's three points that chip away a bit on the, the teams that are above you. Could put you in a second place. Um, I'm not quite sure we can catch Rafe. Made a lot of goals, but yeah, it's mathematically yeah. possible. <laughs> so yeah no it's right but we knew something was going to give on Friday night in that game obviously something is going to give because the game's off so but that's, that only helps us if we go and get a positive result at Tyne Castle so nothing really changes in our perspective we need to go there and and, and get a positive result to even affect them firm on our rollers and then keep the, the ones that are behind us off our tails as well that's just equally as important and uh, again you're, you're looking at um you know, the, the, the shareage um, of, of goals again coming in, Jason chipping in again. He's just proved to be such an important signing for Dundee this January so far. And he's only three games in. He has. And again, McMullen, four assists in four games as well. So can't be overlooked. But what you're guaranteed with Jason Cummins is his goals. We know that. And he's disappointed. He's telling me at half time, I promise you, I'll get you another one. Because he had missed a chance. I'm saying just relax and, and play your game. But but Jason's just such a he's a he's a great character. You know, I, I've knew him, and people you know, there might be raised eyebrows when when you see some of the things. That, but that's not Jason. That's just that was a young kid that, that had done silly things. You seen the same with Lee Griffiths and and whatnot. And but when you, when you know these people, and I know them, I know both of them. The two of them are, are great people in dressing rooms. They're great people to work with. They want to work hard. They want to train hard. And Jason's been. Jason's been fantastic for the day he walked in the walked in the building and, and I love working with him because he's he's went, he's developed, he's had a great move to Notts Forest, he's went and played for Rangers, but he's still here willing to learn every day and he wants to improve every day. So no, he's been great. Coming up on Saturday, travelling through to Tynecastle. Um, as an ex Hibs player, what's it like to go back to Tynecastle? Uh we're in a win a win a win a league, obviously with us and Hearts now, and um, you know, every time you go there, you know what to expect. It's a it's a great arena to play in, uh, so you look forward to you look forward to playing in stadiums like these and against obviously the team that are top in the table right now. And and again, as you say, going against uh, the team that's, that's top of the table, that's something that again would be another feather in the cap to go along with the one in January if you can pull off another victory when you visit there and take it on their patch. Of course it would be, yeah. Um, I said before in previous interviews, I think when you're when you're looking to to achieve stuff in 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 leagues, you have to you come up against the best teams. You know, you can obviously like I said, they're currently sitting top, and we have to we have to be at our best to to win that and, and win the three points. Um, obviously, when we played them back in January, uh, we was up, we were really really up for it that night. You could tell from the get go that we was in that mindset, and we have to approach Saturday with the same mindset.